about you, but I think it's time that I post it again for my 536 day gap, according to studio. And it's about time I make good on one of my promises I made in a previous video. A remake of my active rail crossing, which of now has over 1.5k 1,500 views. So, it's about time that I made the remake of an improved variant that I created a while back. Now, this is a little more redstone heavy than the previous variant. But, I think we can manage. And this one differs from the previous in the form of it has lights, gates, and bell. So first things first. Let's get our rail track set up because you can't have a rail crossing without a railroad track. Now there is a downside of this new crossing. In order to get all the redstone to work, there is a shorter time period I have for setting up when I when there is a crossing the active time. There's a shorter time that it's actually activated, and that means a shorter warning period for anyone who is coming to the crossing. So give me a second as I finish up here. I'm on a new my new tablet, so uh, we're not on the previous old world. So, now, to get the redstone components, give me a second here, there, you always need to tech the rails, they're some of the best in this game, the, the best rails, are because they allow you to activate things, alright, you're gonna wanna grab some grass to cover up your work once you're done, uh, note blocks, redstone lamps, and uh, I think that's pretty much it for now. So let's just let me get the preliminary crossing in. Oops. Okay, so now that we have the area we need... We have... Oops. One second, as I fix that out. I fix that up, I mean... Excuse the mistakes, I'm... Not on my game today, I guess. Okay. So, now that that's complete... I can begin work. Now, of course, you've always got to dig underground. That's kind of the whole point of this. Digging underground. To stick some redstone underneath where you want your signal to trigger. Of course, usually you have to get a crossing space and everything. So you got to dig all the way under everything. And often the complete underside of the crossing is completely hollowed out and filled to the brim with redstone. So, we just make sure these are all wired up. And so now we have the approach surface ready. Well, the part that's not on the crossing of the circuits. Ready. I'm pretty sure you could expand this out a little more if you wanted to. But we will not be doing that for this video. Now we want to dig a few of these pits on each side. And by a few, I mean there should be four pits in total, two on each side. Because this is where it's going to contain a compact redstone clock that will tell crossing when to turn on. Well, not turn oh, when to turn on, but it's just a system for letting you for making the crossing 
these uh, bells and lights flash at a steady rate. So let me just extend these out a little more. So you'll want to bring your redstone out. Probably it's better if you bring it out over this way. Like on the outer part instead of the inner part. And that will allow for actually we wanna you put red you wanna put redstone repeaters there. 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 And finally, yes. Yeah. Good. Let me just get the pitch expanded because I'm realizing that I made a mistake in uh, making these pitch. Alright. Now, oops. Place your a block of your choice here, here, and here. Yep, check. And then you'll want to, oh gosh, stand the pitch again. I apologize for making you stand the pitch more, but I promise you the payout will be quite useful later. Alright, now that the pit and the portrait are set up, I'll just install the clock. I would recommend setting these repeaters up to have a delay. Never mind, I've made another mistake. It's a little more complex than I thought. <sighs> Trying to keep it as compact as possible so I don't continue to make mistakes. Okay, so that theoretically, apologize for making it theoretically, should sound whenever the time is coming. Okay. So, let me just test that for a second. It's always good to test things before you put it Underneath, you'll probably want to put an iron block. Yeah. Now, let me go set that up over here. Sadly, I'm a massive mistake. One second.
Or this will probably work. second as I just install this system in multiple other locations for our light system. If you're making a somewhat American style on the side of the road that you want uh, vehicles to be on and bells on the other because of just necessity putting them there. I can fix this. I can fix I... I can easily fix this, actually. So oh, gosh. Lag. No. I just fixed it. And I'll just go install this on the other side. Use the lag. Never mind. Everything is really positive. Now we just will have to install our gate. We're gonna be doing a half barrier. Because it's an automatic half barrier that you should use it for any crossing that is uh on the main doesn't have to be on the main line, though. Any crossing that uh, you do not want to have, like, manual staff at. I know it's very rare in the United States now to have manual staff at crossings, apart from when they fail. Like, they break and they can be fixed. Oh, wait, I should probably replace the road. Like, road bed. We're going to put down a crossing map. Now, if my, uh, if I did all of this correctly, then as soon as the train shows up at either end of the crossing on either track, all systems will be activated, and the barriers will raise, 
sure, well, in real life, they were lower from the crossing. But since I can't figure how to do that without modding, and of course, since I don't have mod because I'm a bedrock player on mobile. And so, they come up from the ground and prevent vehicles from getting across. Now, give me one second here as I get the road. Alright, now that this stuff's ready, I can just... Depending on your nationality or things, you might want to modify the crossings like design. Like where the road, like what colors the road are, or specifically with the UK, you might want to if it's a automatic barrier crossing that's well, a manually con controlled crossing that is uh, CCTV monitored, like it's controlled from a signal box. You might want to put yellow, like markings here. I've seen that on crossing, well, videos of their crossing. I think it's supposed to help the signalman confirm that the crossing is clear by giving them a background to look at. So, if, like, there's something gray on a gray road, they can figure out something on the crossing and they need to clear it. Alright. One second, as I just... As I install the barriers that I failed to install. That was very sheepish of me. So mark out your barrier location. No, no, no. And dig in because it's going to require a lot of digging when you build this crossing. Then dig in a little more. And wire up the redstone. Yeah, that's good. Now, uh, unfortunately, this probably will not. This original design will probably not work on Java, but that's easily fixed, I think, by adding repeaters where those two redstone were that I just showed you. Place your white on the inside because that's how they white right is always on the tip in the United States. At least as far as I know. Now you might want to add a pedestrian barrier, but we're not going to do that because that's usually not present in the United States. And, now, the big reveal that we have all been waiting for, specifically me, to get past all this lag. Oh, wait. Yeah! Do not forget, like me! To add your detector rail through the crossing. Otherwise, your train will stop. That's not good. Lost time is lost money. Oh, I forgot to go with the Peters. You want to change that to like four. No, three ticks, because that way it won't flash with obscene amounts of flashing. Not obscene. Absurd. Like, ah. Okay. So, now that I've shown you this, all that's left to do is to cover up the work that can be covered up. I honestly would recommend just grass blocking what you can can't when you could what you can. And hope that you do not make an, a mistake like me. Because mistakes are all the time. Good. So there you have it. An improved Automatic uh, half barrier crossing.
for use on your railways. It can, I don't know how many tracks can be expanded to. It can definitely work with one, but, and two. But I am not sure how much you can do this. You might have to do repeaters, and that's usually just a disaster waiting to happen. So, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked the video. And subscribing if you really want to. Go ahead.